never underestimate the power of your environment. Can I preach here? Can I talk to you today? Never what? Never underestimate the power of your environment. A lot of people do not know this. A lot of sons and daughters of the Most High don't understand this. But you need to know the shout of God. That your environment plays a major role in your destiny. Your environment plays a major role in your life and destiny. A lot of things that you become or a lot of things, a lot of levels that you attain come from the, 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 the situation of your environment. Or the condition of your environment you need to understand this and begin to you know put the necessary measures in place to ensure that you have a good environment i was teaching this some time ago now when you get in the word of the lord when you get in the word of god in genesis chapter one the bible tells us about god you know making the foundations of the earth and creating everything that we see creating the things that we do not see with our physical eyes but in genesis the bible tells us in chapter 2 that god formed man out of the dust of the earth right god formed man out of the dust of the earth and what did god do the bible says and god planted a garden eastward in eden and in the garden god made everything necessary for a good living available in that garden god made what everything necessary for good living, God made it available in the garden. And there God planted the man. There God took the man and put him in the garden. He said, I want you to be here and I want you to take care of this. Are you getting this now? You need to understand God intentionally and consciously put Adam, put the man in an environment of surplus, an environment of abundance. Because God was conditioning the man to think abundance, to think surplus, to think success, to think prosperity. Are you getting this now? This was God conditioning the mind of the man. You ought to understand this, that the condition of your environment determines the condition of your thoughts. And your thoughts control the words of your mouth. And the words of your mouth become your reality. Are you getting this now? So a lot of the things you are thinking right now were not originally your thoughts. But they became part of your thinking because of your environment. Some of you, it is, it is the way you were, you were taught. It is the parents that raised you, you know, how they were thinking and, and, and how they spoke to you. Some of you, it's the school you went to. Some of you, it's the neighborhood that you grew up in. So this, the environment, or, or, or in, 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 in certain cases... The things you watch, the books you read, the people you speak to, your environment conditions your thoughts. Are you getting this now? So if you are going to succeed, if you will enjoy good success, you need to understand the importance of a good environment. Condition your environment, child of God, for success. Remove the things that are not suitable for where you're going. Don't build up your environment based on where you are, but condition your environment according to your future. Are you getting this now? According to your future, if you know you are going far, surround yourself with people who are already on that journey. Are you getting this? The condition of your environment determines your journey of life. I hope this has blessed you. Share this and be a blessing to somebody. I'm going to be live again. I'm going to be live. I'm going to, I'm going to be with you again, sharing this, these nuggets. The Lord has just instructed me to share this with us. The secrets to success. Share this and be a blessing to somebody. This is Moses, the prophet. Remember to stay crucified. God bless you.